Hey family and friends, and if you're just visiting, welcome. This is Aaron with AMZ Backyard Orchard and Vineyard, and today we are going to be talking to you about this beautiful specimen. It is the wonderful pomegranate. This is the beginning of March 2023, and it is just waking up. It's kind of a slow wake because we have been getting a ton of chill hours this year. It is cold, it is rainy, it is beautiful. And you know what? Living here in the desert of Arizona, we need it. This tree is well adapted for pretty much any growing zone, anywhere between two, and I've seen even up to 12 growing zone, and that is the tropics. This tree is in a sunny, sunny spot, and it faces west and it faces south all day long, especially during our very hot, hot summers we have here in the desert southwest just outside of phoenix arizona this tree is a self-pollinating tree does not need a pollinator but if you do wish to have a second pomegranate tree to help pollinate you will get bigger better harvests better fruit quality and possibly even more harvests off your wonderful pomegranate tree we just got done fertilizing this tree we did something a little bit different this year and we're using this stuff I believe I got it from Tractor Supply, may have been Home Depot, but it's more of a granular type of fertilizer. We do have a fertilizing video, in fact I'll leave that down in the description below of our fertilizing video, in fact this tree's right in that, in that video, and we used the powder at first, which is great because it's, it digests very well, all the little organisms that live in the soil, they do digest it a lot faster. Uh, but we're going to do the granular type this year and see if we have any difference in fruit quality and growth. So this tree is just starting to wake up. This is going to be its third summer right here in the ground and it is very, very happy. These trees can be pruned either in a bush style or a tree style. And we've kind of got a modified tree where we've topped it off up here. In fact, you can see the prune. We've topped it off right there because man this thing just wants to grow its first year grew seven feet in fact it was touching our roof so we had to prune that thing down in fact we did prune it again in the fall because it shot out more growth so plan on these trees getting really big really fast and control them by pruning you can see the last year's growth in fact we knocked off probably about four or five branches these things do branch out in a bush style like i said and we're going to keep this branch right here. It's coming off the main rootstock down in there. And it's coming off here. And this is kind of an experiment to see what this last year's growth produces for us. If it does produce any pomegranates or if the old growth produces pomegranates or both. But it's just kind of an experiment to see what our options are. And we do, do, we do like to do a lot of experimenting with a lot of our fruit trees. And see what works and what doesn't work. Like I said, this is March 2023, and we have been having a phenomenal year. These trees don't really require much chill hour. I've seen up to 200, and then I've also seen zero chill hour requirements. And this year, man, I'm telling you, we're probably hitting at least the 600 mark on chill hours. We've, had, we've been getting chill hours since Halloween, uh, pretty much every single night. And like I said, this is six months later, almost six months later, it's five months later beginning of March and we've been getting just hundreds and hundreds of chill hours so I really hope this year we're just gonna have a burst of fruit on all of our trees blackberries grapevines all of that so if you have any questions comments concerns suggestions leave them down in the suggestion box below or the comment section below rather we do love hearing from all of our viewers so from my family to yours thanks for watching